Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to build and push a docker image with the cloud build to artifact registry. I have logged into my Google Cloud account. So we are going to push the image to the artifact registry. First let us go and create a repository in that. Search for artifact registry. Click artifact registry. Click create repository. So we are going to create a docker repository. Give the name for it. I am going to call my repository as Fitbit and the format is docker and I am going to select the region as US central one and then I am going to use the Google manage ins encryption key then click create. The repository has been successfully created. Good. Now let us go and review the code which is available in the cloud source repository. Search for cloud source repositories. Click the cloud source repository. Click go to cloud source repositories. The source code exists in the Fitbit repository. Let's review the source code. I have simple Node.js application in this repository. Also, I have a Docker file. Let's review it. So we are going to copy the content from this repository and then we are going to do an npm install and then we are going to the command which will be executed when we run the docker container is the node server.js and also I have created a cloudbit.yaml which is actually going to build the docker image and then push it to the artifact registry. So in the cloud build.yaml we need to give the steps. The first steps what we are going to do is we are going to use the cloud builder docker and to that we are going to pass the arguments for building the docker image. So I have created the repository with the name Fitbit. So I'm using the repository name here. So here it will use the project ID and we have created the repository in the US central one and the images so we are when we give the images steps it is going to actually push this image to the artifact registry so instead of this images either you can give it as like another name and then you can give the similar with arguments for pushing this image to the artifact registry so now we have all the necessary content available now let us go and create a trigger click cloud build triggers click create trigger so we need to give a name so I'm going to give a name as Fitbit trigger and then uh, so this will be triggered when we push the changes to a branch and then we will use the uh, we, need, we are going to use the first gen second gen is primarily for using with the other repositories like github bitbucket and others so we need to select the repository name so I'm selecting the Fitbit cloud source repository and the branch is master Right. and then the configuration we are going to use the cloud build configuration file location it's in the repository and this is the place where we have the cloud build.yaml file okay so I'm uh, I'm going to use the default cloud build uh, service account so I'm not creating a new service account so now click create so the trigger has been successfully created so now we can just click the run to run the build run and then click run trigger so the build started on the master branch click show you can see that now it is building the docker image Now the docker image is successfully getting pushed to the artifact registry. Now the build is successful. Let us go and review the image in the artifact registry. Click the Fitbit repository. So we could see there is an image which has been created just now. Now let us do some changes to the source code and see whether the cloud build is getting triggered automatically or not. Okay. So now we are going to 
make some changes and create a new image so first let's go and change the image version tag version in the cloud build.yaml so let us change the version from v1 to v2 the changes now let us go to the public folder and modify the index.html file so I am going to call it as feedback application then cloud build save the changes do a git add let's do a git commit version changed and do a git push now the changes have been successfully pushed so let's review that in the UI refresh we could see the new commit here let's go and confirm that yeah we could see that v2 version is there now now let us go and see the build build history now we could see a new build has been triggered let's check the build okay so we could see a new image has been created v2 and it has been pushed let's confirm that here as well from that so we could see there is a new image with version v2 now pushed in this demo we have seen how to create an artifact registry repository and then how to create a trigger and build and push a docker image into the artifact registry using the cloud build if you like this video please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching the demo